we move on to Apollo Hyderabad, Dr. Ruma Sinha. Yes. Yeah, Dr. Sinha, please. I thank Dr. Bhandari and the Batikoti Foundation for giving me this opportunity to present our status data from the Apollo Health City, Hyderabad. I put the main data for the last year. However, uh, I would like to share. We started our robotic surgery program in August or September of 2012. So we are about 16 months in the program. In the 16 months of program uh, at Apollo Hyderabad, we have done about 818 cases. But taking the data for the last year from January 2000, uh, sorry, 2013 to December 2013, we started humbly in 2012 and did about 31 cases till December. And from then on, about 92 cases in the last one year. We have done another five cases in this month of January, of which three were myomectomies. If you see across the department, the gynecology at the moment has done the maximum number of 38 cases. And this is again the data for the last one year. And uh, close following is the Department of Urology, which have marked about 32 cases. The Department of Surgical Oncology has about 13 cases, and the rest of contribution from the Department of uh, Cardiothoracic Surgery. If you see the Department of uh, Gynecology, we have done about 32 myomectomies in the last one year. Our forte at Hyderabad in the Department of Gynecology is to actually focus on myomectomy because I and all of us feel that it's, it's one of the surgeries in which using robotic assistance we can make a difference for the patient. So at the moment when we are struggling with cost issues and trying to train our staff and you know doing a robotic case is pro it takes one and a half times effort than doing a regular laparoscopy that we have been doing. So we can convince ourselves and the patient that myomectomy is one of the procedures where we make a difference for them and that's how we have been concentrating on it. It's also one of the largest number in this country for this particular surgery in the series. The next number is for hysterectomy and we have had some experience though not last year initially when we started by doing of cases of endometriosis which again I felt was probably a good case to do with robotic assistance. In the department of urology radical prostatectomy has the largest number followed by radical nephroeurotectomy, partial nephrectomy, adenolectomy and pyeloplasties. The oncology has also been trudging along and some of the cases have been done like hemicolectomy, thyroidectomy, radical uh, hem uh, colectomies also, APR, ovarian tumor 1 and lobectomy. Two cases of mitral valve replacement were done and Dr. K Suresh Krishnan from Australia had come and demonstrated a case of TORS for us. Starting from the proctoring workshop, which we started in July, August for both urology and gynecology, followed by some in February, we also conducted our own live operative program in benign gynecology in September last year in 2013. We had a good response. We had some of your, uh, some of our friends from Delhi also come and join us for that, and it was a well-received program in September. Our faculty was Dr. Minakshi Jain. Uh, the participating surgeons in urology are Dr. Sharma, Dr. Subramaniam, and Dr. Sanjay. Gynecology, myself and one of my colleagues, Dr. Anuradha. Oncology, we have Dr. Bandari, Nayak, Srinivas and Chinnababu. And in cardiothoracic surgery, we have Dr. Dixit, Dr. Agarwal and Dr. Avinash Zell. This has been, uh, in short, the um, journey so far for Apollo Hyderabad. I'm sure lots to be done. We are happy that we are doing um, reasonable amount of good effort and work in the Department of Gynecology, which I can personally speak about. And um, we are also happy that we have a good series. Uh, as far as the publication is concerned, um, the paper is almost ready with a comparison of our laparoscopic myomectomy as compared to a robotic myomectomy. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to send it soon, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Dr. Sinha. It was a short and precise presentation. Thank you so much.